Hello everyone, this is Sumit Kumar and uh, you know what I am going to do today is I am going to solve some questions asked in TFR 2017 and also in coming futures I am going to solve all TFR questions so that at the end you will be very very happy. Let me start this. You know yesterday some notification was declared by TFR that something how to get selected in TFR Mumbai and Bangalore <coughs> particularly in mathematics uh, program I think you are aware of it there is one um, objective exam and then there will be subjective of 15 questions so in this exam they are really going to test how do you know mathematics and what is your intuition what is your basic ideas involved while solving some mathematics program and all so I'll request to all of you go through the basic parts and try to understand the concepts what are involved in it I'll, and I will I will also going to give some ideas you know so that at the end you will be happy and confident okay so this is the question asked in TFR 2017 in linear algebra sections that's what I'm going to solve and also this kind of second questions is going to be important for your if you're going to write net exam gate exam particularly IIT jam or NBHM okay so this kind of questions are also important if you're going to write net December okay or IIT jam okay so these are also sections so let me start here with this so question is very simple uh, <clears throat> every square matrix capital A is a square of some matrix okay so what is the condition a belongs to m to c a is a 2 cross 2 complex matrix can 2 cross 2 complex matrix you can write as a square of some matrix okay can you write it that means does there exist b belongs to m to c such that a equal to b square and it's true for all a so for all a you have to choose different b okay so you know don't rush and solve this kind of problems okay just take two minutes and think about it what the question is exactly saying do I have some intuition do I have some uh, basic ideas how to do this kind of problems and I'm going to tell you okay so I always start you know don't be in rush how to think this kind of problems how one can approach this kind of problems so recall some basic facts involving about it okay so first thing I'm 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 going to ask what do you mean by nilpotent matrix? A matrix A is said to be nilpotent if there exists K belongs to N such that A to the power K is going to be 0. Okay. So, <clears throat> and uh, another, a matrix is nilpotent if and only if A to the power N is going to be 0. What is N? N is here the size of your matrix. Right. If A is N cross N, then A to the power in N equal to 0, then it is nilpotent. And if A is nilpotent, then it is going to do. So, I leave this an exercise. How? You know, you should do, not for me, for yourself, okay? Do this kind of problem. Now, you are asking whether every matrix I can write. If it is true, I have to prove it. And if it is not true, I have to I have to look for a counter example. How I can look? How? So now let me take this matrix. So that's why I have to go for nilpotent matrix. Uh, nilpotent matrix of index 2. If I look that, then might be I'll get that my intuition says. Through that I have to think this kind of problems. Okay. Don't be in rush to just solve problems. Okay. So let's take this matrix 0, 1, 0, 0. A square is of course equal to 0. Suppose there exists B in M to C such that A equal to B square. That means if you square it both sides, what you will get? B to the power 4. Now as A square equal to 0 means B to the power 4 equal to 0. If any B to the power K is going to be 0, this means B is nilpotent. So B is nilpotent. And hence, if that size is 2 cross 2, then b square is going to be 0, b square is going to be 0. But a is my b square, so equal to b square equal to 0, that means a is going to be 0, okay? That means a is going to be 0. So a is equal to 0, which is a contradiction because a is a non-zero matrix. So this is a contradiction. Hence, a is not equal to b square for all b belongs to m to c. It's very easy questions, but it's easy for me. It may not be easy for you guys. This is the way, if you don't know nil potential and this kind of theorems, you are not able to solve. So trust me, don't be in rush to just solve the problems and all that. Take your time, give your 100% each and every questions, okay? And be confident, TFR is coming soon. I know you are going to do very, very good in this coming exam. You know, 
TFR is such an exam where outsiders are also giving those exams, like foreigners. They have also dreamed to get in TFR. So it's not so easy exams, but also I should say this is not tough. It's very basic and very interesting. Okay. And one more thing for all my students I requested. I'm going to start my regular batch. Okay. Regular batch for what? Net June 2018 from 5th January. Okay. So what is the test on student request? Regular batch for Net June I'm going to start 5th January and also for TFR 2019. If you are going to write the TFR exam in 2019 in the next year, I am going to start it for regular batch from 5th January. So if, if you are very much interested, please think about it. It's not for me, it's for you. If you really wanted to do mathematics, if you are really interested, I am going to help you. No matter how much time it will take, but I am going to do that. I know you are very much interested, you need just a little bit guidance, I am going to help you. Okay? So think about it. Also, one should you, you should do one thing. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay? And like my Facebook page, so that in the long run you will get all my notifications. And, okay? So thank you for watching my videos. And thank you.